Hi there, these comments are for GM and happy holidays to you. Thank you for completing your speaking practice test. So you actually wrote out <laughs> your response first and then you recorded it and emailed me both the uh, transcript along with your voice recording, correct? Let's take a look at the first part of it here. And I'm going to check a couple of things here. Writing it out sometimes can be helpful because you pay a little bit more attention uh, to your language use. And you cannot go wrong there because that's part of how you're scored on this, right? So let's see what Microsoft Word thinks about what you, what you wrote down here. Okay, let's look at a couple of things here I think that are important here. Give me a quick second here. Okay, first of all, the average number of words per sentence is 21.5, and the average number of characters per word is 4.8. And both of those together give you a grade level of 13.2. So the goal here is maybe about 25 words per sentence on average and about five uh, letters per word on average. And you're pretty close to both of those and your grade level is not bad. So I think that SpeechWriter, ETS's artificial scoring engine that looks at the speaking, uh, I don't think SpeechWriter is going to have too many problems with it statistically based on your grammar and your word choice. Okay, let's look at what you have here. There are a variety, I believe television has had a great impact on society. There are a variety of programs that entertain the people. Uh, documentaries about history, geography, educational programs for all ages, variety of shows, different channels that all inform the public about the world, weather, politics, economy, and so forth. The only problem here is this is not a com <coughs> complete <laughs> sentence. See, I think that is positive if used wisely and with moderation. So you could probably improve a little bit with your sentence structure in that paragraph. On the negative side, television uh, can also be used as a pacifier for those in stress, anxiety, and they can become addicted to it without realizing that while using it, the brain is being absorbed by the images presented on the screen, creating a dependency as a gratification received for the entertainment is immediate at the hand of one click. Several aspects can cause a negative influence in a person affecting the behavior and the health. Uh, do you have any specific examples that would help illustrate how television can be negative, right? So I think here you need some concrete details. I think it would be better, you know, give an example from your own personal experience or from the experience of someone that you know. Therefore, I believe that it can be positive or negative depending on how the viewer uses it. Instead of it, you might say, I believe that television or watching television can be positive or negative depending on how the viewer uses it. So the, the language use, the vocabulary and the grammar you're using here, I, I don't think is 26 material. I don't have a lot of time to edit everything here, but I think you're having some problems with that. So having said that, Let's listen to your response now. And keep in mind here, as we listen to it, we need to figure out how to score it. But I'm going to tell you already, the language use is not in the four area. Okay, let's see what we have. Some people believe that television has had a positive influence on society. Others believe it has had a negative influence on society. Which do you agree with and why? Use details and examples to explain your opinion. Right, so that's I the actual topic. I believe television has had a great impact on society. There are a variety of programs that entertain the people. Documentaries about history, geography, educational programs. You know, say geography 
educational programs. For all ages, variety of shows, different channels that inform the public about the world, weather, politics, economy, and so forth. I think that is positive if used wisely and with moderation. You're using a lot of it. So I would just say, I think viewing television is positive, blah, blah, blah. On the negative side, television can also be used as a pacifier for those in stress, anxiety, and... For those, uh, you might say, those suffering from stress and anxiety. Let me look at what you said here. Yeah, for those suffering from stress and anxiety. They can become addicted to it without realizing that while using it, the brain is being absorbed by the images presented on the screen, creating a dependency as the gratification received for the entertainment is immediate at the hand of one click. Several aspects can cause a negative influence in a person, affecting the behavior and the health. Therefore, I believe that it can be positive or negative depending on how the viewer uses it. Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Yeah, I don't I don't think you're in the four area. I know you wrote it out. I know you practiced it several times, but I still don't see this getting 26. So I think in the three area, you have some minor difficulties with pronunciation, intonation. Uh, pacing was okay, but you're not varying your tone as much as you need to. So I, I think that's an area that you definitely... Uh, can improve on. Uh, let's take a look at fairly automatic and effective use of grammar and vocabulary, fairly coherent expression of relevant ideas. Response may exhibit some imprecise. Yeah, you have some kind of generic type language in there. Um, it might be somewhat limited in the range of structures used. You notice how you use a lot of it's, it, it, it. Uh, so it looks like your grammar is a little bit limited based on what you just did. Um, I think with the development, it is the development is somewhat limited, usually lacks elaboration or specificity. I think that describes. So because of one, two, and then three, uh, I think this is a score here. I'm going to put you maybe around 22 to 23 points. Anybody at YouTube, what do you guys think? What would you score this? Do you agree or disagree with my evaluation? Uh, all right, GM. So to get better here, let me think about it for a minute. What are some things that you can do at my website to help you improve, right? I think that's, that's kind of the question right now. So number one, uh, I think if you go over to my website, stealth at michaelbuckoff.com. Uh, go over the lesson, the pronunciation lessons on intonation. It's pronunciation lessons 36 through 40. I think that's a really good lesson for you. Number two, uh, go to the grammar part of my course. I have a lesson on sentence variety. You need to learn how to vary your sentence style a little bit more. I think that would help you too. So check out that. I think that one is uh, maybe grammar lesson number 26. It's called sentence variety. And I even have some sentence variety practice exercises that I think that you can benefit from. All right. I like the strategy of how you wrote it out. You were paying attention to your grammar and your vocabulary. You practiced it. Then you emailed it to me. Uh, that's not a bad strategy. Now, I, I know during the TOEFL exam, you do not have enough time to do that. But still, it's, it's a good strategy right now as you're working on your English proficiency. And eventually, you will be able to do everything that you did without having to write it down. It'll be all up here. All right, thank you for completing the speaking practice test. And uh, use my feedback, right? Study the recommended lessons to help you get better and then post another practice test and let's see how you're doing.